Hey everyone, uh, I wanted to make a quick video because uh, last week I've gotten asked like four times about it and to be perfectly honest, I've probably been asked 30 other times, I don't even know, uh, about something. So I figured I'd just make a video about it and it's about my shell and the rooftop tent. What I have is a Lear 100XR. Um, it's a fiberglass shell. It cost me about 2300 bucks, I think is what it was. And yes, I like it. So some of the options that I have, it's not fully kitted out. There's a few things that we thought that we didn't necessarily need. Um, what we do have is the factory rack tracks. And those are these guys right up here. They basically allow you to attach any kind of Yakima, Prinsu, front runner, or whatever, Thule rack that you decide to have. We have a Prinsu rack on top of ours, and that's called the cap rack. Um, it, it's really nice, we dig it. But good thing about the rack tracks, get them installed from the factory, because one of the big things is if you don't get them installed by the factory, yes, you can put them on yourself. The spacing really doesn't matter about how wide they are. Um, most of the racks are all adjustable width wise. But the big thing is, is if you put it on yourself, uh, you void the warranty of the shell through Lear. So you wanna make sure that you put it on from the factory if you're gonna pay the money in the first place to buy it. We also have a carpeted headliner on the inside. So all we do is go up to this little guy, twist that and it pops right open. So we have a carpeted headliner, which is really nice. It keeps it kind of warm, keeps the condensation down if you're ever inside of it. Uh, and it just looks better. The, the fiberglass looks kind of, kind of crappy when you just have it exposed. We have a sliding removable rear window, which is way in the back there. Uh, makes it so you can actually pass things through into the cab if you want, take advantage of the slider that's on the factory Tacoma, and then it allows you to remove that whole back window so that way you can actually clean both of those in between the shell and the cab of the truck. So that's really nice and handy if you actually wanna keep that clean. Um, one of the biggest things uh, that we think is huge on these, and if you're ever gonna buy one, is the wind doors. You gotta get wind doors. If you don't, you're gonna be super disappointed that you didn't because you can't reach all this stuff without climbing into the back of the truck. So you have to go into here, and climb all the way to the bed of the truck. And I have the long bed, so it's, it's, you know, it's a good haul to climb in there. This way, whenever we're camping, we just open these doors and we can access anything that's inside of here. It makes it really easy, whether we do it from either side. We have wind doors on both sides and you can see the latches over here on the inside. Um, one of the things about ours that we did that was a little nicer is we installed a pop and lock uh, locking kit so that way this lock here as well as the tailgate lock on the tailgate uh, is tied into the factory remote so that way as soon as you hit the factory remote to lock the truck it locks the rear tailgate and the glass the one that the, the ones that it won't is these twist locks on the wind doors you can't necessarily lock those with the uh, with the pop and lock kit. There's probably a way for you to figure out how to do it by installing some kind of motor and all that, but it wasn't worth our time. We just use an extra key to do those. Um, so we do have that. So we have a CVT Mount Shasta standard uh, Stargazer is what it is on top of the, 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 the Prinsu rack. And everyone always asks if we have any issues with weight. What I've figured out through my dealer that I spoke with was that Lear has a weight limit on their regular shells, not the ones that are reinforced, just the regular ones. This is not a reinforced shell. It doesn't have a cage inside of it or, um, you know, it's, it's just one of their regular normal shells is the dynamic weight rating is about 250 pounds is what they're telling me. They're telling me that there will warranty damage that's caused structurally by the weight or by any kind of structural damage, uh, to about 250 pounds. So my tent weighs 125 pounds. My rack weighs 50 pounds. So therefore I'm well under the 250 pound warrantyable weight limit for any kind of structural defects that happens by the dynamic weight rating of 250 pounds. Basically what dynamic means, the, the, the dynamic weight rating is the weight that's on top of the tent when the vehicle is in motion. So that's the kind of weight that's being thrown around when you're driving around on the vehicle, whether it be on-road or off-road. So this, this shell is designed to be able to support 250 pounds of weight on top of it. My shell, or excuse me, my rack and my tent are both less than 250 pounds. The static weight limit, which is when the vehicle is parked like it is right now, is much, much higher. So 
for people sleeping in it, it's not an issue. Most places don't even tell you what that weight rating is because it's just much higher and no one really cares. They wanna know if it's gonna break while you're driving around. The things we don't have, we don't have like the, the rod holder. People have like um, fishing pole holders on theirs. They go up on top here and they run the length of it. You can put fishing poles in there. Uh, we actually opted to put these climbing anchors, which we ran some P cords. So these are just the bolts that the rack are held to the, to the shell with. And we basically attached some, some climbing anchors to those. And then we ran some P cord back and forth across it. And that allowed us to basically make an extra storage space. And we'll put like paddleboard paddles up there, or we can put bedding if we want to, or just, it's just kind of a quick storage spot for us if we need it. Um, we also don't have a bed rug. We went with the factory Tacoma bed mat, nice thick thing. It makes this so stuff doesn't slide around. The factory bed is like really, really smooth and people and things will just slide all over the place. This actually keeps stuff from sliding around, which is really nice. So some other things to really know about it, the warranty, one of the reasons that I think buying new is good, the warranty itself is only good to the original owner and it's for the lifetime of the shell. So it's uh, the lifetime of the structural of the shell. So buying brand new, well, yes, it may be expensive. You're the owner, you're the original owner, you have the receipts and any damage as long as it's underneath that warranty of a weight limit is well within uh, warranty specs. So you can go ahead and do that and that shouldn't be an issue. Um, why did I go for this particular one? Um, I like the clean lines of it. Uh, this versus the Snug Top versus the ARE and all those other brands. There's, there's a number of different brands um, I like the lines that this shell has on the back of the Tacoma. I just think it like looks really clean. I think it's nice rounded line on the back and then I think it, it goes into the body of the truck really nicely. So that's one of the reasons I picked this one. Um, you have to have the wind doors and I like these wind doors because of how long they are. They're very, very, very wide. So they allow access through the most of it. Um, the other pro that I really liked about it and why I decided on a shell for me was for security. Uh, some of my stuff that I do for work, um, I have to throw stuff in the back of my truck all the time. You can get like a tonal cover, but um, I wanted to keep that stuff secured. And then also when we go camping, uh, I wanted to have the ability to have a lot of stuff in the back for our camping gear and to be able to basically secure that stuff with just pushing the lock button and having all of it locked up so security was a big thing for us as well as protection from water rain and stuff like that um, that's a that's a big one so if you just have a you know open bed and you have your whatever your boxes or bins or whatever it is that you use for putting your uh, your uh, camp stuff in you know it might not work out the best for you um, the cons are that they're heavy uh, I don't even know how much it weighs but it definitely is heavy uh, they need the forklift to put the thing on um, they're hard to remove and once you put it on you're kind of committed to it so something to think about is if you don't want to have it on all the time it might not be the best option for you because it is something that's just going to live on your truck so that's something to consider a uh, couple other cons is we have some paint chips that have happened um, we got one right here right which I still need to kind of touch up and this one, which was totally my fault, that's from the tent pole that goes right into here as you put the little edge out. And then this one right here, which also has a scratch. So we got a couple paint chips, um, which we tried to touch that one up, but it didn't work out too well, but whatever, it is what it is. The other big thing that we had, uh, and that, that I thought was kind of a con, when I first saw the thing, it was a negative. When I first saw the way that this thing mounts, um, so basically it mounts with these bolts right here and they put a bad washer on there when they installed it last time. So it basically mounts this little brick right here, which goes into the, the, tr the rail on the bed of the factory Tacoma. And then it just squeezes it down onto the truck. So there's four of them. There's two in the front. There's two in the, both sides of the front. There's one on both sides. And then there's one on each side of the back. And I didn't really like how that mounts. I'm not too much of a fan of it to begin with. Uh, I feel like it puts a lot of stress on this area right around here, and I'm kind of waiting for that to fail maybe, but again, lifetime structural, that's their fault. That's the way they designed it. So but what we had was we went to Death Valley and we were off-road, and we were driving on a road for 
about three miles going kind of slightly up slope and when I got out of the truck I came around to the side of the truck and immediately looked right here and the shell had slid back about this much so it was back here and that kind of scared the crap out of us because we had the tent up top all of our stuff on the inside and we almost dumped our you know $2,300 shell off the back of the truck so all I did was loosen those bolts push it forward and, and get it back to where it was and we didn't and then tighten it down and we didn't have a problem the rest of the trip when we got back home we figured we needed to solve that problem so what we did was we actually went back to the dealer had them drill through the top of the shell through the top of the bed rail and through the top of this rail and now there's a bolt that goes through on both sides of the shell which secures the shell from moving forward or backward and we have not had that problem since it's not going anywhere now um, and it's pretty good other thing that people always talk about is is it waterproof um, no none of them are anybody who tells you their shell is waterproof is completely lying to you there's no such thing as a uh, waterproof shell and the reason being is because the trucks just not designed to have completely waterproof structure on the back of it. it it wasn't designed to have the shell and it wasn't made for it it's not factory so it's never going to be perfect um, the one thing that you want to think about is right back in here right in the center here so right inside here is a big area where it fill where it's open so this is basically there's a there's a gap that's about three inches tall and about half an inch wide that's from the factory and it's between the the sides of the bed and the front of the bed and there's a little gap in there we basically filled that with butyl rubber spelled b-u-t-y-l uh, it's this really pliable rubber sticky stuff and you can stuff that area full of it and then that'll make that uh, about as water sealed as you can get it um, the other reason why you're pretty much guaranteed to not have the shell be completely waterproof is because no matter what you do, that gap is always going to be there. So that's always going to have water going into it. On top of when this is closed, water's going to come down here and it's going to make its way into there no matter what. So anybody that tells you that their shell is completely waterproof is completely full of it. Um, don't believe them. They're pretty much lying to you. Uh, a couple other things we did. We've got this bed platform. Uh, we don't use it to sleep on. We use it to for storage. Um, this cost us 109 bucks at Home Depot, and it's basically two pieces of plywood, some two by sixes, two 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 by sixes, two pieces of plywood, and some carpeting. All I did was measure. There's a uh, there's a line right here. You can see this like vertical up and down line and it basically starts to come back out this way. I just measured to there, the length from there to the back of the shell, and then we went across to the other side, how wide that is. Uh, I took off an inch for the carpet, and it fits perfect and works great. Um, if you want it to be beefier, you can get two by eights. If you want it to support a lot of weight, you can put like a vertical post in the middle, so that way it'll be support. But this is just with two by sixes, um, it's holding up pretty well pretty well. However, even one of these is starting to crack under the weight that we'd use when, when we go camping and we're off-roading So it's it's pretty beefy other thing is right here. These are bed stiffeners um, Really handy to have so the Tacoma bed is made of a composite material. It's basically plastic So what you want to do is you want to avoid it cracking in the middle and then breaking so I have on both sides of these I have these bed stiffeners and these are from Rago Fabrications. Um, made in the USA, full steel, won't rust, won't corrode. Uh, they're really, really nice. When they showed up, they were in awesome packaging. Um, they were, the directions were spot on. All you gotta do is remove the tail light, drill a couple bolts through. This uses the factory holes and then this uses a factory bolt as well. So you just bolt here, drill these holes through, bolt them down, replace the factory tail light, and you're done. It's a super easy thing to do, and they work really well. Check out RagoFabrications.com. They're, they're really good people, and they've got some cool stuff. So, um, And it's all made in the USA, which is great. So then this one, this is another thing that we did. So this is a uh, just basically a tailgate gap cover. It's basically a rubber seal that has um, some 
some sticky tape on both sides and it's stuck to one side of the, the, the of the bed and the other side to the tailgate and it works really good at keeping a lot of the dust down we before we had that it was like after one trip you'd have a ton of dust in there and it was really bad uh, but that actually helps really well and it was really really cheap um, what else in the back we've got a little TRD bottle opener it's pretty funny last thing that's really nice on this truck is this guy right here this is our mountain hatch tailgate insert uh, if you guys don't know what mountain hatch are they're a local u.s company in southern california they uh, they make these really killer inserts that basically go right on your tailgate and they are made of food grade plastic they're basically a large cutting board and if you've ever gone camping and tried to put anything down on the tailgate you know how annoying it is when you put your cup down or your beer down and then all of a sudden it falls over because of the ridges because the factory tailgate has this shape to it and everything falls off you put this on and now it's like a perfect table um, I love this thing this thing's freaking killer uh, so check out mountainhatch.com go to them go check them out uh, they do deals for first responders and police and um, everybody so go check it out really good company um, makes the back end of the tailgate because this when we go camping that basically becomes our kitchen um, and we dig it a lot so yeah that's about it so I hope you really enjoyed this I hope it helps some of you guys make your decision on whether you want a shell and a shell is going to be good for you um, may or may not I don't know you really have to decide if you want to spend the money if you're gonna you know put it to use if it's something that you're actually interested in if it's gonna you know if you want to take it off that's not something to really want to be considering uh, a bed rack might be a good idea or a soft shell topper might be a good idea or a tonal cover might be a good idea or just an open bed it really depends on what you want if you like this video uh, like my page like my Instagram Go check out traceamigosoffroadclub.com. That's myself and uh, all the people that I roll with on the crew. Um, and then as well as go check out, like, and support the, the people who are supporting us, uh, the companies that are supporting us. We'd appreciate it if you go give them some support and show them some love. And that's going to be the San Diego 911 Memorial Stair Climb. Uh, go check out the Trace Amigos Firefighter Fund, which is uh, supporting the, the, the firefighter aid and, and first responders across the country. Uh, go check out Shop GovX. Uh, that's uh, GovX.com. They're a uh, retailer for all sorts of outdoor goodies, and uh, they do discounts for government employees, fire, police, first responder, military. Uh, go check it out. City employees, teachers, you guys get discounts too. Um, check out uh, Baja Designs. Uh, scientists of lighting they got some really killer lights i have them on the front of the truck and i'll probably be getting more here really shortly uh, mountain hatch which i showed you in the back and rago fabrications so go check them out they make stuff for everything um, thanks for watching and i hope it helps if you have any more questions feel free to hit me up and i'll try to answer them as well but i hope this video helped you uh, make your decision on whether a shell works for you have a good one